All right, my friend is here and she said go. So tonight I thought that I would do a sign for my mother-in-law. We are going to have a celebration celebrating 60 wonderful years of marriage. And one of her words she chose for her life is grateful. So I am going to do a grateful sign for her. I have stained and waxed a board, and I'm going to do the word grateful on there. And I just wanted to show you um, how quick and easy this is. Usually, um, something like this would be considered farmhouse style, and you would see it in white or cream. But my mother-in-law loves green, so I decided I am going to do it the way she loves it. So I'm going to do it green. So what I'm starting out with is something called fuzzing the transfer. I have one of our little fuzzing cloths here, and I am just getting a little bit of fuzz on the back of this silkscreen transfer because I don't want it to stick too much to my sign. So after I fuzz it, I'm going to put it down, try to line it up, does that look straight to you? It appears to straight, it's hard because I didn't cut it the right size up top. But what I do is I put it down. Now it has a sticky back because these are reusable silk screen transfers. And then I just make sure that I get all the um, all the air bubbles out of the letters because if you have an air bubble, you will be able to tell that the, the paste does not go through it all the way when you have an air bubble and you can end up with a little leak underneath. One of the things that I seem to be obsessed with is mixing our colors, coming up with new colors. So I just did Green Envy. No, I didn't. I did Parakeet. Green Envy is one I used, and Kiwi. Because um, I wanted something a little bit brighter than the green I am parakeet, but not quite as bright as kiwi. Kiwi is one of my favorite colors, especially for springtime, so you'll probably see a lot of Easter designs. But I just mixed up a little bit of the chalk paste. There's not a lot in there, but it's plenty for this. So what I'm going to do is just put some of this on here with my squeegee, which I could use this size squeegee, but when I'm doing a larger design, I like to use our four inch. It just goes much quicker and easier when I use the four inch squeegee, so. Let's see. I am just going to do a couple spots with this little guy because I see a couple dots on there. Okay, so now what I do is I take off the excess paste and put it back in the container um, just so I don't waste the paste. And I'll put a cover on this and I'll probably use the rest of that another day when I'm making a design. This one I just wanted to be quick and simple, one color, and ta-da, we have Grateful. Now the last part of doing a design is we put our transfer in water. I'm just going to keep that a little bit moist so I can clean it off. It takes about a minute to clean off the chalk paste. 
but I was going to do one more thing on this trance, I mean this design, after I close up my ink so I don't, it doesn't dry out. As you can see, I made this off to the side because I thought I would put a little ribbon. I'm not 100% sure that this is the ribbon that I would use, but I had it available. And I thought I'd give it a shot. See how I like it? You can tell me if you like it. Or you can tell me if you think I should add green. Because I'm actually considering maybe putting a bird or two on this design. Because my mother-in-law loves birds as well. Let me see. So what do you think? Tell me if you think the brown ribbon is good or should I add um, some green to it? And should I add a flower or a bird? Just give me your honest opinion. I hope you enjoy.